Brazil's military is dealing with uh, quite a bit of controversy because the... Um, is all the soldiers got fat asses now? <laughs> <laughs> Too sexy. Standard issue butt lift. Too so, sexy. So their military has been buying a lot of Viagra. What? Like a lot. Really? Like 35,000 Viagra pills. Can you buy that on base? Whoa. Maybe it's for training. It's not for training. Oh, it's not? Okay. The military's buying, not the, not the, uh, like the, the department's buying, not the individual. Brazilian military. Oh, Is it their Marines or Navy or Just Army? Military. Just his military. Oh, so it's on paper as like an expense? Yep. Like you're buying like 40 torpedoes and then also $35,000 worth of. <laughs> Cialis and Viagra. Yeah, that's and crazy. Blue Chew. Yeah. So. Is that bad? Uh, the generic version of Viagra is what they're buying, by the way. In 25- Saving money for the government. Yeah, okay. 25 milligrams, 50 milligram doses, okay, um, since 2020. So like that's quite a lot of Viagra and everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? Well, it's also known um, to help when people have hypertension. So if you have if you have pulmonary hypertension. Yeah, um, that's what it was used for. Yeah, yeah, for right? blood pressure, yeah, regulates blood pressure. So they're like, wait, 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 it's not what you think. It's for hypertension. Yeah, it's a cheap it's alternative for hypertension. Nice. But. They're giving all of their servicemen serious fucking boners. <laughs> oh, oh, well, obviously, right? But they're treating the hypertension. They didn't know that they were going to be dealing with this. So they're just like, man, my hypertension is gone, but dude, I, I got hypertension down here, yeah, bro. You're right, right. It's yeah. tension. It's a lot of tension. Lots of hypertension. So what do you do if you're dealing with a lot of tension down there? You uh, need attention down there. You need to fucking get it sucked off or something. So guess what they had to do? Suck oh, they had to circle. fucking Human go to centipede. the brothel. No, I wish. They had to go to a brothel? Uh, this is just about how they, they have hypertension. They oh, want stuff a lot there. of Viagra. Yeah. The rest is up or, to us. Yeah. Or, they, or they sucked each other off for as bodily You can only dream. We have to support. fill in the blanks. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think that's part of training. I think that's good for training. I mean, the Thai military would have probably done it that way. That's what they did, right? Well, they got the fucking cum from the Brazilian military. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, yes. trade relations, man. Wow. Gotta keep them up. Have any of you guys taken Viagra? Nope. No, I haven't. Yeah. We should have fucking brought back Nigel. I hear some people that like to party, uh, they don't need it, but they'll take half to like go the extra mile. I'm curious. I heard that. Like, I would do it. I would do it in a second. If we all did it together, I would do it. <laughs> Only if we did it together. Only with the boys. Only with the boys. I don't do it with the boys. And we're all just <laughs> raging fucking born or sweating, <laughs> and we're together. That's it. Together as, as friends. Only if we're in a sauna. We're all I'll doing do it, it together. All of us like, yo. Steve walks out. He's like, yo. <laughs> That's not true. That's he knocks over his fucking laptop. Even if I'm driving a go-kart. I don't know if it was one of our friends, but someone told me that they took it without having erectile dysfunction, and then it fucked them up uh, afterwards. Ooh. And that's what scared me. So I was like, like... Above nine hours, like that kind of shit? Like it was a long time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a really like harsh thing you have to do to fix that? Like a, I heard it's like a shot or something. Yeah. Well, we did one you have to article. get it like drained or something? Oh. Yeah, we did an article where this guy had to fucking um, get it surgically like helped and shit. Like oh. they had to cut his dick so blood would actually... They had to bleed it, dude? Dude, apparently Uncle Roger's taking those things like they're fucking jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I don't have an Uncle Orgies and shit. Yeah, damn right. Well, based off of what he said, too, can't you just bust a nut and then... Psh and it go down? That's what apparently. he says. He says so it'll never go up again. That's the thing that goes wrong, apparently. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't go doesn't, down. Yeah. Uncle Roger said, on the record, because it wasn't off the record, I, I was there. Oh. He said, I took the Viagra, you come, you never come again in your life. You never get hard again. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. That's why I'm scared to take it if I don't have dick problems. It scares me. Uncle Roger can't yeah. get hard anymore. Yeah, that is pretty scary. That's why people take half of it. Half of it. Well, they take it with alcohol too. A lot of people. Yeah, They'll be like, give me some alcohol, coke, and fucking uh, Viagra. Alcohol, alcohol and coke and Viagra? Whoa. And ecstasy, maybe? Whoa. I don't know how I used to do so many drugs <clears throat> in a night. And like, now I hear these things and I'm like, Wow, that sounds Scary. excessive, doesn't it? <laughs> what was your stack back in the day? Like, what was a normal <laughs> night? Stack. So there used to be this thing called suicide because you remember back in the day Shit. when uh, all the sodas? Yeah, yeah. this is all the sodas. Yeah. All the sodas. It came from that because, like, when you're a kid, you're like, you ready to suicide? And there was, what's that? And you think it's like bad, right? Because it's like you go to the soda machine and you're like, I'm gonna put in some coke. And then oh. I'm gonna put some orange fucking drink. Oh, whatever, no, right? don't do that. And you're like, what? You can do that shit? Man. I did like that. Right? He's and crazy. Think those, <laughs> those same fucking dumbass kids came up with the idea of, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking take a hit of weed right here. And I'm gonna fucking take a pill right here. Oh, I'm fucking shit. do a little bit of hit of cake. And I'm gonna do, 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 get a play with the glow stick, man. 
And I think those are the kind of kids the glow that- glow sticks <laughs> over the edge. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's I'll do a hit of glow stick, dude. Crack it open. Yeah. So none of them would die? I don't know, the but- people. But they called it suicide, it's That'd be so anti-suicide for them to die. I remember one day, um, we were on some pills, we did eat, this was like when I was like 14 or 15. How many of them, how many substances did you do? So, I did E, we were coming down on E, so we did acid, and then we went to an after party, and then some guy had some weed, and then the weed, they laughed because they said someone put Prozac in it. Whoa, what What's does Prozac, Prozac do? I think it's like an antidepressant, oh, but it was man. the weirdest fucking trip I've ever had. But it was probably because of the combination of the acid and the weed. And it just so happens that someone had more acid, so we fried some more. Whoa. So we you didn't. You fried the ass? No, no, acid is called frying. Oh, oh, oh. It's called frying. Double, double dose. Noob. <laughs> Anthony's never done acid before, you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, depression, panic attacks, obsessive compulsive disorder, and also bulimia. Whoa, whoa. For Prozac. Whoa. Prozac. I don't know. Probably makes you feel really good. But I think it was really the combination between the weed and the acid that was the most craziest trip. What'd you see? Well, yeah, what, did, what happened? Where did, where did you go? Yeah. I was just like really in my head, and then I was just thinking in deep thought, chasing different thoughts, talking to friends, like trying to calm down, like trying to get into the sober state. Whoa. But the scariest thing was watching my friends in repeat. Like, I had my one buddy, um, he had a hula hoop and he kept going whoosh, like that. And then the, he would, the hula hoop would go up and he would catch it. You know how you'd yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. slide it like that? And he kept going whoosh. And then that music video, uh, you know that song, I see you baby, shaking that ass, yeah. you know? Yeah. That was playing. Whoa. And then so he started repeating that, and then other people started repeating that. And everyone kept saying it over and over and over. And I was like, shut the fuck up! And then they're looking at me like I'm being mean, and they're like, oh, you're giving us a bad trip, man. And I'm all like, fuck! And then I had to go to a different room, and I, I spent the rest of the time just talking on AIM. Like, just. Just you save have, me! Uh, Were you telling people to shut the fuck up on AIM? <laughs> Did you have a bad trip? Yeah, I mean, every it was it was kind of weird, you know. Like I just remember going in and out of it, and then like feeling like I'm doing the same thing, like like that, over and over. Oh, you got caught in the loop. Yeah, so oh, it felt yeah. like a loop. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. people were pacing back and forth around me, and I'm like, I think everyone else was, yeah. or maybe they were, and then some people were talking and laughing and joking. And then so I just went on my friend's computer and I was just chatting with that's, all my friends trying to sober up and shit. And then like I was talking to sober people and they were grounding me. Cause I was, I know they're sober. So I'm like, I know you're talking like, so I just fucking keep chatting with yeah, me. I, I've yeah, I've seen friends get caught in the loop like that too. And it's like the hardest thing. So. It's like an inception where you yeah. don't know if this is real or not. And you need that fucking spinny spin to, to, to tell you like. Yeah, but we don't know what happened. Them. What is the result of that? Yeah. Like, what do you think that's mostly from? Is it just from the acid? I don't know which drug I think prompt that fucking re behavior. <laughs> I think definitely it's for sure the drug, but then like it also has to do with like you and like your energy and, and your intention in that moment, yeah. and your attitude. Mm. But this was like six in the morning too. Oh okay. shit. So, I couldn't go to sleep. We're out of this person's house and then my friend decides to let's go. So I'm like, all right, so we get in the car and his ass is still fucked up. So we're looping around this whole neighborhood and we're getting paranoid because I'm like, dude, how come we're not going home? We're just, we've been passing the house three, four Holy times. Shit. And then he's like, I'm too tired. I can't think anymore. So we finally get out. We finally get out, right? And then like, you know when you're like seeing like people walk their dogs and jogging in the morning and you're just like, they fucking know we're high. They're gonna call the cops. We gotta go home and shit, right? Get all paranoid. Yeah, paranoid. And then we went to a fucking Ralph's parking lot. And the next thing I know is I'm being woken up by a security guard hitting the fucking window. Like you guys gotta get out of here. And then like, I don't even remember like sleeping. I just remember we're pulling up. Just teleported, huh? And then we're at the parking lot and boom, I'm knocked out. I'm waking up and the security yeah. guard's knocking on the thing and I'm just like, oh shit. And then we go home. It's like moon night. There's just like blood all over. Yeah. You. <laughs> Damn. When you, and it was like, what? Just probably middle of the day because it was already 6 a.m., right? So they probably like knocked on your door. Like This was yeah. probably like 10 at that time. It was Jeez. Like people going There's the customers market. already? Oh, yeah, it was like 10 or 11. Don't want your kids to do drugs. Just show them this fucking video. Show them Joe's story. I, that that would sound so annoying. <laughs> I don't want yeah. to do that. I, dude, my friend yeah. spent yeah. half the night trying to look at his eyes. The loop <laughs> Dude, I was like, like it was just cross no, eyes. We right? <laughs> trying to get him focused. <laughs> I was laughing for an hour straight. So like he's that. in the loop? No, no. He was talking to us, and in the middle of the conversation, he goes, 
like that, right? And we're like, yo, 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 you okay? And he's like, oh, I, I was trying to see my eyes. <laughs> Dude, people on drugs are so fucking annoying. We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. that's it, crazy. We're like, like, if you don't get it, it looks ridiculous. We're like, what? And we were dying because like I couldn't process what he was saying, but he was looking at the back of his eye, trying to look at his eyeball. Well, I figured. Yeah, he's like, oh, and like he was coming and shit. And we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought we were gonna collapse backwards because he was fucking looking back so hard. Wow. And he's like, oh, I was trying to see my own eyes, and then he walked away. And I was like, what the fuck? He never saw his eyes again? No, and he kept going like this and shit, because I think he was trying to look at his uh, the back of his head and something. Dude, I went to, me and Nikki <laughs> were at this nuts. fucking, you know how you go to like some douchey LA thing, and then they're like, hey dude, this is going to be a psychedelic experience, and you're like, okay, cool. And then you, so I, I wasn't on anything, and I think that's what you're supposed to do, so I just go into this fucking tent, and it's like. I was supposed to be psychedelic if you're not on anything. I don't know, dude, I was just some fucking LED. Dude, it's probably the fucking crystals and the fucking things that they do around you, and you're like, oh. Or the oh. wisdom. Well, that yeah, and like, wisdom. you know how you go to these places, and it's like, we're artsy, and it's like. You know, now you'd have an art experience, you're like, whatever, whatever, I, ha I already hate all this, why, why not just immerse myself in the hatred of all this shit? So then I go in this tent, and they have you lay down on a bean bag, and they're everyone, they're, and you had to wait like forever to get in there, of course. And they're like, welcome to your experience, you're like, god damn it, it's gonna suck, right? <laughs> you would love that. And then I go in there, and it's like fucking screensavers everywhere, and it's like, you can tell, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the artist thought this was like the deepest, most molecular thing that ever happened, and like you can tell he just he, just, he like smokes weed or drops acid. He's like he's like, dude, this shit takes you to a fucking different plane. Like you're allowed to experience like a different endeavor than perhaps most humanity can. <laughs> but like you just see like that fool got five monitor screensavers in yeah, some fucking dude. beanbag chair. Honestly, the bouncing ball that doesn't hit the corner is like deeper than this shit. Like you you see a fucking moth. Like turn into a butterfly, like turn into a fucking caterpillar. And it's like, oh, it shouldn't go in that order. And he's like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude, got it. Like, you know what I mean? And he broke the code. Yeah, and then you're in space, but then it's like space just all looks the same, copy pasted all across the thing because you think they couldn't afford to do much more. And, and it's just the second. You see the pattern repeat. Yeah, it was just, I was so tape. annoyed and like looking at my fucking phone the whole time and just being like, man, and me and Nikki both were like, the best thing about Nikki is like, we both look at life the same way, and so we're both just in there like, this guy I thought he's so fucking yeah. good. <laughs> That's the best. But though. were you looking to your left and right, and people that were on shit were like, Oh, yeah. This is amazing. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. But that's how annoying it is to be the sober one while everyone's fucking, like, tanked around you. Or, like, at least... Were they, what were they on? Ecstasy? Do I don't know oh. now, but now that I was in there, I was like, man, everyone's fucking. Based off of his description, me. it's definitely an acid type of place to be. Yeah. Or shrooms or acid. Uh, well, for example, like shrooms, I'm like, I need to go to nature, yeah. right? Whereas acid, it, to see like the idea of like you know butterfly to cocoon or whatever, I feel like that stuff's mu much more acid trip. That's stuff. true. Acid is like the back posters of hot topic. Fair. The but, glowy posters with but, the black light. But Acid's also looking at those posters and realizing that they're not like visual, they're actually like a uh, language. If you're like on it, you wouldn't oh. see it like a visual That's poster. True. You would understand it as if it was speaking. So you sound like the artist and I hate you. <laughs> Being a 14 year old boy on Acid, you think you're Einstein.